my workspace, my very organized uh, washi tapes and magnets and stuff like that, uh, along with um, all of my different kinds of, um, what would you call that? paper that I can put inside of the junk journals that aren't necessarily patterned paper, but still beautiful, um, cards and, uh, calendars and just old books that are just gorgeous, anything vintage and gorgeous. And then down here I have, um, I have, let's see. Okay, those are for glitters and whatnot, anything I need to store. This is actually my happy garbage. This is happy garbage. This is garbage that I collect that makes me happy because I know I can use it in a junk journal one Okay, so it's definitely very happy garbage, and I encourage you to keep your own happy garbage. It'll probably just be very fun or save you money. And again, just be very fun to incorporate in journals. Just some happy garbage, even just shapes and whatnot. I like that for the garbage and I also have let's see what do I have I have feathers down here I have uh, binders I don't usually make junk journals out of binders but it is something that you can do and, it, and it's very practical and whatnot and I have paints and this isn't even a uh, fourth of the paints that I actually have. Paint supplies, um, paper bags, envelopes, um, uh, stuff like that. Paper bags and envelopes and stuff like that is in that bin. And these are my scraps of things that I have made um, prior and can take out and use whenever uh, the time comes, if the time come ever ever comes, or maybe a mixed media project. No, nope. just take them out and use them at will. Oh, this is one of my more intricate and one of my favorites because I didn't use a punch, I actually hand did that, and it looks like poo on the back, but believe it or not, on the front, it doesn't look so bad up against some black. That's kind of cute, right? <laughs> yeah, so that goes back in my little scraps area that I like to keep. Um, towels. I don't want to ruin any more towels than I have to. Cards. Uh, go to. Stuff like that. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with words right now. These are all of my Mod Podges and sprays and whatnot. And um, under here, under the table, it actually gets very interesting. I have all my papers that are not dyed. I have fabrics that I can incorporate in things and whatnot. Over here, I have the things I use on a regular basis, such as uh, my little mini sewing machine. Oh, let me get the uh, gross, right? Don't do that. Don't do that ever. Um, tags that I can choose from, right, as they're in here. Just choose from, oh, those are ideas, but tags that I can choose from. And this little box right there. Um, I do have this, uh, and I'm so disappointed in this, but this is kind of like a junk tray of junky things that I don't know what to do with when I'm cleaning off my desk, so I end up just putting them in the junk tray, like this is a 
seedling pocket that I made and I didn't know what to do with it and a piece of a picture and some tattoos and some fibers and just don't know what to do with it in the meantime so I just put it in here until I'm ready for it if I even remember to come back to it which was kind of sad but that is my junk tray um let's see this is my more organized tray these are all my little punches my clips for when i bind my books my glitters um, my eyelets my eyelet tools and stuff like that i throw that right in there um, these are uh, some of the embellishments that I was using that didn't work out, but I still very much plan on using like embellishments at a glimpse instead of going through my embellishments. Fuck it, that's all the way over there. <laughs> embellishments at a glimpse. Okay, now eraser and stuff like that. That's more organized. Um, these are the things that I use constantly, and I will be doing some chick tips and hacks in my videos, so I will get to you on my eyeshadows, but I have my stapler and my punches and my, you know, colored staples and whatnot in here, and you know, my embossing powder and my uh, screen, um, some blah, 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 we know what this is, blah, 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 <laughs> sorry guys, you know what I'm saying, blah, 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 I don't know, I don't know where it goes, I don't know. Sure. Okay. Do, 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 do. Mm, I guess. Hopefully I'll look through that, right? There's some interesting stuff in there. And put that stuff back up in there. Um, I like to put my tools and things that I use a lot up there. Just because it's easier. I just noticed that I have a couple of my Mod Podge sprays over here. Um, they probably should be down here and they will be but i really i truly just noticed that so no big deal i have some um alcohol ink sprays i made myself but again i'll be doing tutorials and whatnot to show you what i mean um these are doilies and whatnot that i have sprayed and some book pages and Literally just things that I can sift through if I want to go through a book. Now, here's the interesting part. That comes off. And then you can go in here and actually pick the pages out for the book. Rather than just the embellishments. Oop, gotta be careful though. Boom. Cat used to like to lay on that. He kept knocking it over. So I made a very own cat bed. For my cat, because he likes the feeling of the paper, so that's my cat's cat bed. Um, what else? Is there anything else? Um, more recent things that I've been working on that are in here, so I don't forget about them. They would be in here. Um, my painting, a very old, old, old. I didn't even know what junk journaling was, and I made this multimedia cover out of, um, what's that called, magazine clippings, and clear tape is how I laminated it, believe it or not, uh, before I even knew what a junk journal was, and I went to town. Um, this is actually in the background, uh, two different types of tissue paper, pattern tissue paper, and clear tissue paper. And I bet you anything, if I were to put some Mod Podge on that, that would look incredible. Just regular paint that I aged that up with and some dollar store embellishments. 
Same thing here. Dollar store embellishments. Um, what is it? Uh, you know, the same technique as the front uh, envelope that I messed around with a little bit. Decided that looked like it was a little travel area with some travel stickers and a bag and maybe tickets and whatnot. This one was going to be fun. I never finished it. This one was going to be the love page. And love, maybe a name or a picture. And then it would flip open. And maybe a love letter in the middle of this. I never posted it. Didn't even necessarily have to be there. I hadn't decided yet. But a love letter, maybe. I. It was going to be fun. I, I never did finish this. Like I said, I didn't know what a junk journal was. I was just throwing stuff together. In fact, what I think I thought I was doing was making a uh, scrapbook. That's what I thought I was doing, making a scrapbook. But now that you look at it a little harder, it's more of a junk book. I mean, I twisted up some mats, and I put things places, and normally put things, and... I did it pretty much from scratch. That obviously was unfinished, but getting there. Um, I remember being so upset. I put deadly decisions, and then I put the police officer there with the roses, which I thought looked very good at the time, but then dun 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 dun, dun. Any more authentic, and it would be illegal. And then I put her there, and she still looks gorgeous with these very pink flowers. It still all looks very gorgeous. But, come on, any more authentic and it would be illegal? How good would that have gone with her? Regardless, I think I did the right decision because the white against the white and the gray against the pink looks very, very nice. So, I mean, this isn't for sale. Again, this was an accident. Um... I didn't know I was making a junk journal, and I do plan on making this something for myself and something very random and fun and different. I just thought I'd share. Thanks for listening.